it's like it's the trials in your life and the challenges in your life that prepare you to become who you already are and who you were born to be. Let me break that down. In our organization, we've got a saying that goes like this, within every caterpillar there's a butterfly. And within every person, there's a better version of themselves. There's a better than, you know. So you're whatever you are, but inside there's a better you. So ultimately, you're already that person. It's just that person needs to be drawn out. And what draws that person out a lot of times, it's not a cognitive activity. People think that they can become who they want to be through cognition. It's, it's not that. It's usually trials. It's usually challenges. It's usually difficulties. It's usually the things that test you, that almost break you. It's those things that help you to become you. And I think sometimes we just have false expectations because if you're going to be in a relationship with someone and you think that they need to be perfect or they need to be on their best behavior all the time, and I'm not talking about infidelity and all that kind of stuff. I believe that, you know, if you're committed, you should be committed, you know, and you should be loyal and, and work, work your stuff out, you know, and life's life. But I'm not talking about in that way. I'm just talking that we are all imperfect people. And it's two imperfect people coming together. So there's definitely going to be imperfection. It's about how much, how much grace do we have? How much patience do we have? How much forgiveness do we have? How much, you know, it's all of that. It's, it's, it's like that, you know, and it's all of my journeys, my challenges, my ups, my downs, my relationship with myself. You know, I think sometimes the relationship that I've had with myself, I've not felt comfortable in my own skin or I've not even liked myself. I've not liked who I was at that moment in time. And that has been some of the times that has helped me to spurn to develop myself and go to the next level because like now I don't like that person. And I feel all of that has helped me to understand people. And I believe we're more similar than different. And that's why I'm, I, I, I know I'm an exceptional mentor and practitioner and so forth, not because of my brilliance, but because of my struggle and because of my challenges and because of my insecurities and because of um, my limitations and my weaknesses and the things that I've had to overcome. When I started to mentor, I started to just understand that the person in front of me, they've got their own version of the stuff I've, I've gone through. They've got their own version, like they've got their own things they're wrestling with. They've got their own things that they find it difficult. They've got their own, whatever it is, I know that they've got their own version. Like they might be able to cover it or they might be able to give a persona or they might be able to be give a facade. But I know you've got to have some stuff that you're still trying to work through. And that is what has inspired me to really, you know, pour into young people and be a mentor you know, just really progressed and just really transformed young people, then was able to develop mentoring programs, then able to quantify the impact of mentoring and create a mentoring strategy and policy and all that kind of stuff. And then train mentors to be able to do that and then be able to create case studies to show that it's done and then doing it in different settings, doing it in, you know, in primary setting, in state sec setting, in, in, in private independent setting, in, and then doing it with business people, then doing it you know, with police and then doing it with all different types of people and just see that this stuff works because really as people, we're so similar. We're just so similar. We need the same things. We need um, validation. We need respect. We need love. We need to be understood. We need the space to be ourselves. We need those things. We need a sense of belonging. 
those things go beyond ethnicity or culture or money. And those are the things that I realized that's been what I've been working on and helping people to work through and helping young people to, to find purpose. Young people are absolutely brilliant. And a lot of times they're just under the governance of, they're under the governance of parents and, and, and great parents and good parents, you know, and even parents are not good, help us to become who we're, we're meant to be. But even parents are still imperfect. You know, parents are children. They're human. <laughs> you know, to someone. Um, so, so yeah. So, so I've got into the world of mentoring and yeah, it's, it's been, my, my pain has become my power.